Hi people, I'm going to show you um, how to make these uh, rolled paper tubes out of magazines or newspaper, okay? Um, this is a project that I just started I YouTube and I saw this and I'm a recycle person. I did this last night. We've been rolling tubes. It's our first one. It's a little crazy, but do you see I got a dollar store mirror and I'm not done because I still have to roll more of these, okay? Now this is, let's see, do you see this? This is that pastor uh, roller that you get, like I got it Ross, I had it, you can use a cup, you can use anything that can flatten these tubes to make them flat, okay? And I'll show you why, what you use to make them flat, why you need to make them flat. Okay, I got glue. I got end up getting this at the dollar store because you get two for a buck. I've been using Elmer's. If you use Elmer's, it's really thick, so make sure you put a little water in it because um, you will go through a lot of glue. Okay, and if it's a recycle project, you don't want it to actually really cost you so much. And then I also saw this, um, and I bought this little glue stick. So kind of helps if you want to get inside the little when you're putting something together. And I got this at dollar store, like three for a dollar. All right, now let me show you. These are the tools you're going to need. I used, and I used a chopstick, a barbecue stick, and today I found out about a straw. This is a straw with a little bendy, so it works, okay? Uh, the, the size of your stick is going to determine the size of your, of these paper tubes, okay? So I ended up putting my, my glue in a little throwaway thing that got a cover, and I took a a uh, paintbrush, a cheap paintbrush, and I just cut off with my scissors, I mean, my uh, knife uh, to make it short so it didn't fall out. I pre-cut all my paper already ahead of time, but let me just show you. This is an example. So you can use a magazine, like this was a Sam's Ad magazine that I got in the mail. So what you're going to do is, if you have a paper cutter, it really works a lot better, but um, you can use just plain old scissors. I started with scissors and I was like, oh geez, I need a whole lot of these. So I pulled out my, my paper cutter that I had. Fold your thing in half. And then what you're going to, what the size I cut to make those tubes, and you can do however, okay, but this is what I use. Okay, I cut, just cut in half. I got two, so these are two tubes. All right, so that would be about it. Now if the paper's really thick, it's really hard for this to seal shut. Okay, so then you're going to might have to hold it to get a little tacky if it's too thick, the paper. And regular newspaper sheets uh, work better because they're not as thick as some of the ads. All right, so, let, okay, let's, let's start. So see how this paper has a dark color and then this side has the writing? I want this side to show up because this has a little bit more design and everything. Okay, so let me show you. You're going to go, I'm going to use the straw, and you're not going to go like straight like this, okay? Kind of angle a little bit. Okay, because if you go straight like this, it's just going to, it's not going to roll right. So you got to give just a little bit of that right angle there. I go on the left side here, the closest to me. You roll it, you got to tuck in that corner right here, you know, and then you're going to roll. Now, sometimes this takes a little, a few times to get it to roll. And you, and you kind of start in the middle of your stick. Okay, whatever, whatever you're using to turn it. I find that if it's nice and round, it, it rolls really nice. So you roll. I don't put any glue in the beginning because if you do, it's, that glue is going to ooze onto whatever thing you're rolling with, and then it gets so sticky. And you have to constantly wipe it, and when it's wet and you roll, the newspaper or the paper sticks to it, and you can't pull it out. You know, you'll have a few of those, you know. So I just take a little bit of glue, and I just kind of do that, you know. And it just You don't have to, but I do just to, I want it to be more secure. Make sure you hold your, your finger up here because you know how you're rolling here in the bottom. But what happens if you don't kind of push this in and guide it, it will turn to like a horn uh, out here, be bigger. One end will always usually be bigger and that's okay. If you're connecting your tubes, you're going to have one end that has to be bigger. When I come to this end, I just put some glue here like that. And remember now, this is like, you know, kids glue so it dries nice and clear so now I'm gonna roll it but do you see this glue in my hand so what I do is I just I keep rolling and I go all the way down and I just kind of do that to just go all the way down just let it you know seal up the end then I pull this out and I have my first tube okay now I keep a wet paper towel next to me because your hands get gooey you know this gets sticky and it starts getting you start getting stuck to your paper all right, now let me show you something else. Now I'm going to show you how to, how to 
um, flatten your tube. So here's my tube. That's what I told you. When one side's bigger than the other, when one side's bigger than the other, see, then, then one side will be able to fit. You're going to have to find it. Okay, so like this one, okay, this one fits. Okay, these two fit together. So you can either put a little glue on it and then stick it in, or you can do it later. You don't really have to. And then I stick it into here. Like I said, you can use anything to do this. I'm going to have to move this a little bit. Okay, and then, and then you just, this works really nice. I bought this years ago, never used it, and I was going to make noodles, and I said, ah, and now look, it works perfect. Okay, now let's come back. So I rolled it out, and then what, what I do, then I use the barbecue stick, and then you just kind of start off to roll it inside. I just needed to get that first roll right there. Do you see the first roll? All right, so now I'm going to put a little bit of glue on here like this. And then, now this, when you make these, these little uh, pinwheel looking things, uh, you're, you, you'll get really uh, full of glue. But you keep rolling. The more you put on, the bigger is your, um, going to be your, your little circle. I'm using it to put around that mirror that I'm making. So my daughter just moved into a house and I thought this would be kind of a really cool art deco up against of a white wall. You know, and I said, well, let me try this. And you put this up on the wall, it looks pretty amazing. All right. So now, if your glue is not, if it doesn't hold, you might have to put a little bit more glue there. If you got your glue too watery, you might have to wait till it's tacky to hold on. Then what I do is I take some glue and I paste, I, I just tape, go on top there just to make it nice and stiff right there. Um, you can spray paint these. Like if you use newspaper, you might want to spray paint it. You might want to do that. I did buy a clear... A lacquer so when I'm done I'll be able to um, I just I just bought one of these I'm gonna go outside and spray it so just to make it you know firm because you know moisture and everything will make paper get um, very soft so I hope you um, find something to make um, go on YouTube a lot of people are making uh, a lot of different uh, things with this um, you can make baskets I mean I seen they make bows out of this where you just keep going all around and around just keep adding these tubes and you can make some pretty cool things so all right thank you and happy crafting uh, with Keanu Aloha